This is the seventh video in my helicopter tutorial. It's starting to run a little bit longer than I expected, I have to admit. Um, this time I won't be saying how my project is exactly how it was when I left off because it isn't. I decided to resolve some issues um, on my own time just, just to save some video space would have taken an entire video just to resolve these issues so I'm gonna just say what I've done and like I said in my last video I was gonna straighten out some of the triangles so I've done that up in this area I've removed a couple of triangles and turned them into polygons instead and most of my efforts went into the tail end here where that was looking a bit of a mess and I resolved a lot of that. There's still some triangles left over, but that's okay. I'm happy with the way it's come out. And what I've done here is, like I say, I removed a lot of triangles. And I've reshaped in this region. I've not added any vertices at all. Just taken out triangles, pulled this vertice down, and aimed to give a little bit of body around the rotor housing and why is going to come apparent right away because the first thing I'm going to do is finish the tail end and then we can go on to the window finally so all that's really left to do to this tail end is to slim it down a bit I'll grab it up with box select I'm going to deselect certain areas that I don't want to change the size of, and that would be the router housing. So I'll deselect everything around here. When we do put a actual rotor in there, it's going to be a sphere, and it's going to sit inside of this cavity. So we're going to want that space to have that work out. I'm also going to select some up here on the body if I can get to that. I'm going to change the background there. Use the brush tool. And the reason I'm going to pick some up here is just to continue the notion, give a sort of a hinting or an indication of some gear works like this is shaped the way that it is for a reason and that should do like that so I'm going to go to a tail view so we can see what's happening here and now I'm just going to slim it down I'm going to size it and only along the y-axis to slim it in as you can see the housing for the rotor is staying put and I'm just slimming the rest of the tail fin down. I think that's slim enough. I don't want to make it too much slimmer than these and perhaps I should slim those down a little bit as well. Yeah I think that will do that very quickly give these a little bit of slimming as well yeah. and these I'll size along Z and slim them down a little bit extra too that should look okay that way we have a nice big housing to fit our rotor into we may actually expand this circular area some to make it look better now we're going to get right onto the window try to keep things rolling along here. For this I will go into faces mode and make my part opaque so I can see right through it. Select up what I'm going to have as my window. Have a look around to see that it's all selected. Go into a solid mode so it's easier to see what we do. Straighten this out a bit. Now I'm going to extrude the window which may seem like an odd thing to do but it actually works out pretty neat. I'm going to extrude it, drop it where it's at, 
and size it first off along I believe the y-axis to slim it in a bit then I'm going to size it overall just a touch smaller and I'm going to go to a side view grab it along Z and drop it in just a tiny little bit and may not be so evident to see but this has created just the smallest ridge and acts to separate the window from the body this is going to give it a little bit more of a realistic feel and this ridge will also be colorable I'll be able to like make this a black color against uh, second color for the window uh, perhaps a uh, opaque uh, tinted glass or something along those lines um, speaking of colors I'm thinking that I'm gonna check how much time I have left and while I'm gone I'm gonna quickly make some colors well okay I put up some colors and decided to have some lamps and a camera and just do a test render and finish off the video here with just a little bit of talk about what we're gonna do from here on so this is my helicopter the image should be nothing new I've been planning to finish the series of videos and actually make the first video I release will be the last that I produce and we'll have this helicopter in it colors might be different by then and it might have a slightly different look to it but uh, overall this is what we're getting into and that should have been known from the first video on because that's my intention so from here we're gonna put on a propeller we'll have to move that object data that I mentioned in an earlier video and position it in a favorable location so that the helicopter acts properly in the game engine and we'll do the propeller and a tail rotor that'll be the next video hopefully we can get them both done in there the tail rotor is really easy that's really quick um, the propeller it depends on what we go for we can have a two blade propeller to a five blade propeller depending on what we want the impression of the helicopter to be I'm probably going to go with four blades and give the impression of a nice powerful helicopter if I take it to a game the game's likely going to involve uh, trying to meet tasks and goals like picking things up so you don't pick things up with a two-bladed helicopter right and you have four or five blades on it for that and four blades will probably look a lot better when I get them moving at least that's my experience so far so after the next video where we do the propeller and the rotor the video after that should enter the game engine and we'll start getting some things moving get the thing off the ground and uh, I have a Python script that we're likely to use and we'll do some talking about that Python script it's not something that I wrote it's something that I found and modified for this purpose and it's a really handy little script and we'll give some thanks to the author if I can actually find his name so that's it there's the helicopter with some colors you know I have to forgive my horrible color sense <laughs> that's not exactly a strong point at least I managed to stay within the lines though 